look. There he is. It's actually a Disney expert trying to find something that starts with the letter Z. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Emma? <gasps> I've been spotted. It's the A to Z challenge in Animal Kingdom. Let's get started. A to Z challenge. This is a really fun way for us to kind of see different things around Disney World. We have several categories. Rides, merchandise, snacks, live entertainment, and a wild card, which is kind of fun, I think. I'm starting with A. I'm going with a wild card because I think Quincy would be proud of me. And we're gonna go talk about ant eaters. But uh, since I'm starting with Z, I am looking for some, I'm gonna, Z is one of the harder letters. I'm gonna look for some zebra print merch. Zebra print. Uh, I know I can definitely find that in Africa. I'm hoping that I can find it here on Discovery Island. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna happen here. Both the Island Mercantile and the Riverside Depot, they're gonna be a little more um, just uh, Disney intellectually, intellectual property based, less, uh, less, you know, themed to, you know, and different animals. Oh, Winged Encounters, that'd be a good W. I don't have time for this yet. I'm gonna have to hope that the animals are out today. But this is where you can find the anteater. Her name is Annie. She's one of Quincy's favorites. She's right here up at the front before you even see the tree of life. But this is her habitat, and let's see if we can find her. I really don't want to have to go all the way to Africa for zebra print. I might have to. That's gonna be a big, big, big bummer. Ah. All right. I'm trying to do something different. The last couple of times we've been able to do, uh, you know, Zerg merch. I just don't think that's going to be the case. So I'm going to Africa. Now, typically she's a little bit more active towards the yeah, end of the day, so I might just not be able to see her yet. But she is a southern giant anteater. We're starting this challenge around one o'clock today, and the park actually closes at six, six p.m. Um, pretty much uh, all year long. Animal Kingdom is going to be the park that op uh, that, that closes the earliest. So 6, 6 p.m. is an early closing time, which means we only have about five hours to get through the entire alphabet. And sometimes this challenge takes us, you know, sometimes six, sometimes seven hours. So this might be the first time that one of us doesn't get through the alphabet. We're already headed back in. Um, we're going to count that one right now as Ant Eater Habitat. Production saying that's all right. Let's keep moving on. We're heading immediately to our first attraction ride, uh, which is gonna be Big Ol' B for a bug. You already know where I'm going. If you don't know what this is, this is a wonderful, I think. <laughs> wonderful is a strong word to use. Tough to be a bug is a show that happens actually underneath the tree of life and it's all themed to a bug's life where they're going to teach us a little bit about why it's tough to be a bug and why it's important that we have bugs in the world with us. So let's go watch it. Now this typically does not have a long wait. Right now it says about 10 minutes which is roughly just about a show. Uh, but one of the coolest parts about this, even if you're not interested in the show, is you do get to walk underneath the tree of life. You kind of get to walk through it and see some things that you otherwise probably wouldn't, like a lot of the amazing carvings up close. I couldn't find any zebra patterns uh, <laughs> or printed merch at uh, in Discovery Island. So I came here to Zuri's Sweet Shop. Zuri's Sweet Shop is basically a uh, kind of the candy store that you'll that you'll be able to find in Africa. They have prepackaged sweets, but also they have uh, a bunch of you know uh, pastries and uh, candy, uh, caramel apples, things like that in the uh, cases as well. What's super unique about Zuri Sweet Shop, as opposed to uh, something like I don't know the Emporium, is that you can actually mobile order here. It's also a 3D show. In case I didn't mention that, you gotta get your glasses. <laughs> we are waiting on the next show. We're gonna head all the way down. One of my favorite things is all of the little faux Broadway posters like Anti, Beauty and the Bees, and a cockroach line. Because we kind of have to be on the go for today because today's challenge is definitely mobile, uh, I got the Fruit Punch Icy. Uh, there, there are a couple different Icy's you can get. There's the Powerade one, the Lemonade, and uh, Fruit Punch. There it is. There's our why. Why? Because we like you. So for my first item in the ride slash attraction category, I'm gonna go with Expedition Everest. Expedition Everest is a coaster attraction where you uh, hop on a T train and you're trying to get to, well, Mount Everest, but the only way through, ticket to Mount Everest is through the Forbidden Mountain where there's a vicious Yeti 
Why? For Yeti. We are finally headed in to the beautiful Tree of Life Theater. Hoping to not do as much crisscrossing for the rest of this video, <laughs> but uh, we're headed back to Africa because I have the letter X, and I, the only thing I can think of is with the letter X is potentially over in Rafiki's Planet Watch. Hopefully, I can knock out some other letters while I'm there. But I, now I have to go to Rafiki's Planet Watch to get the letter X. Woof. Me and everybody else in the Bugs Life Theater are finally heading out. I really love that show. I think it's so cute. I think it's quick. I think it's simple. And I think it's an air conditioning, which is always a huge win for me. Um, it is actually going to be replaced with a Zootopia show. We don't have the dates on that just yet, but we'll let you know as soon as we do. And I'm actually kind of, I'll be sad to see Bugs Life go, but not as devastated as like Dino Win. Next, I'm trying to be a little bit strategic here. My next thing is C, and there's a few things. Now, typically you can get churros around Disney World. They are not as good as Disneyland's, if you're curious why we don't tend to eat them. Um, but there's two snack stands right here. Curious to see if they've got anything that'll work for me. Mixing it up. They do have chicken street tacos and street corn tacos. Let's grab some street corn tacos, baby. Okay, we are heading to Rafiki's Planet Watch. We do have to get on a train first, the Wildlife, is, the Wildlife Express, which we're, we're gonna count at some point, but I, gotta, I, I have to get there before I can count it. I can't count this for W because I can't skip V because then y'all will be mad at me. Uh, so, I mean, no, I'm not even gonna talk about Wildlife Express right now because it, that's their W and we're not gonna, we're can't, we can't talk about the W be, before we do V, so. This is just a random train, you know what? This is just a random train we're getting on in order to go to Rafiki's Planet Watch to get the letter V. This is them, this is the street corn tacos and I'm actually really excited because I've always wanted to try these and this option um, doesn't always stay open all day. It actually closes around five today, I believe. Typically it is closed before the park, um, but it comes with chips, salsa, and the street corn tacos, which is corn, bell peppers, cheese. Um, it's actually cojita cheese and a lime crema sauce on top. So very excited, let's try them out. Okay, Smiling Crocodile, which is where you can grab these, is right near Flame Tree Barbecue, um, near the Tree of Life. And I found a place to sit, Flame Tree Barbecue. That's why I started all that, couldn't remember. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I know this is a competition, but I'm, I'm gonna enjoy this. They're so good. They're so flavorful. And one thing that I can really tell, a little bit of heat in this, which I really like. It's not much, still leans on that Disney heat, but definitely more than normal. I think I keep saying V that I'm here to get the letter V, but I'm definitely here to get the letter X. I just have the letter V on my brain because that, well, <laughs> I think what I planned is so specific. I don't know if I'm, if I'm gonna be able to make it happen, but we are on our way for the letter X. Fortunately, we have to go all the way inside to Rafiki's Planet Watch, so. Welcome to Rafiki's Planet Watch. There are a couple different, uh, I guess, sections or areas of Rafiki's Planet Watch. There's the animation experience where you can actually uh, draw one of your favorite animal animated creatures like, you know, Scar or Simba or, I don't know, maybe Rafiki. Oh, they're doing one right now. Oh, they're drawing Heimlich from Bugs Life. It's Bugs Life. But then all the way in the back here is the Animal Health and Care Center, and that is where they do x-rays. X-rays, and they, uh, this is kind of how you, oh, there's some x-rays right there. Perfect. Uh, this is kind of, uh, you get kind of a behind the scenes look on how they kind of treat for some of their animals. If some of the, someone is sick or someone has some, uh, or an animal has some sort of an injury. Uh, sometimes they take him here and they do live viewings of different, uh, I don't know, uh, procedures. Oh yeah, and you can even see right here, 
you can even see right here today's animal health procedures they even have a schedule that way if you want to if nothing is happening right now but you want to come back because you're really interested you want to see uh, how they care for some of the animals there's a schedule here and you can come check it out all right x-rays done and done now you gotta go back. you gotta go back okay it took a few minutes <laughs> to eat that lunch now <laughs> on the now on to the dinosaur that's like a natural given right dinosaur is a very truly scary indoor ride um, you go back into the age of the dinosaurs you get to experience it it's fast blast in the past uh, this is one of the scariest rides in Disney World truly take that seriously if you have smaller kiddos or if you're scared of darkness yourself fast moving rides flashing lights things like that it's saying 30 minute wait based on the line it looks like it's gonna be quicker than that so we're gonna hop in now I can finally move on to W. I wish I had an attraction that, you know, started with W. It just kind of, you know, it was a quick one. I'm really waiting in a line. I just, I, I don't even know what it would be. I don't even know what it would be. Oh, look, it's the Wildlife Express. How convenient. The Wildlife Express is just a literal train that will get you from point A to point B and then back from B to A. Yeah, Wildlife Express, there we go. We are back on Discovery Island because, and, and again, it's just really crisscrossing. Uh, hope, it's, def, it's definitely gonna get easier. Definitely gonna get easier because, you know, the further we go down the alphabet, I guess the further we go backwards through the alphabet, we'll get some of the easier letters. That Z, uh, W, X, Y, Z, or V, W, X, Y, Z, they're just, it's just tough. So, we're headed to Discovery Island because uh, it, this is actually kind of a show that I uh, that I I feel is underrated. We're gonna go, we're gonna hit up some live entertainment. This group has some incredible like mashups, some fun vocals. It's always hype. I'm talking about Viva Gaia. We've got about four minutes before they start, which means our timing definitely worked out. So I'm pumped about that. Dinosaur just finished, and it actually only took us 20 minutes, so that's not bad at all. Now I need to figure out where I'm going next. And I know, I just, sometimes I film and then forget what I'm saying. And I think a lot of people can relate to that and our editors hate us for it. Okay, staying close to this area. For E, I'm gonna go over to Everest. Um, we can do single rider over there so that shouldn't take long at all. And then I don't know where I'm going. Okay, now that we've successfully partied to Viva Gaia, we're gonna do, uh, I, think we're, I think we're gonna knock out two letters, both U and T. First thing I wanna talk about is the Tree of Life. And no, that's not our T, but the Tree of Life is the park's icon. Uh, the thing that makes this so, I guess, well, I iconic are the 325 plus carvings that were, that, that were hand carved uh, and it makes up the Tree of Life. And the closer you get to it, the more detail you can see on these uh, animal carvings that make up this Tree of Life. But my favorite part uh, about the Tree of Life is that it's not just on the tree, uh, that these animal carvings aren't just on the tree, they're actually on the roots of the tree. And in order to do, in order to do that, you have to go under the Tree of Life. So that's my first wild card, under the Tree of Life. We're gonna check it, we're gonna go under the Tree of Life. Uh, you under and check out uh, uh, animal carvings that you can only see when you go under the tree of life. And you can see like underneath you, you can only see these animals. See there's a uh, armadillo, right? Armadillo right there. Uh, underneath the tree of life you can actually see a dinosaur. It's very cool. Got, so I think, yep, more, more, is that an iguana or another dinosaur? I can't tell. Oh yeah, they're all dinosaurs underneath here. That's right, the pterodactyl. So underneath the Tree of Life is actually where you can see some dinosaurs because remember the further you, uh, the further it went down. Oh, there we have an elephant in the roots. That's honestly I don't think I've ever put two and two together until right now in this moment. The further you dig deep down into the Tree of Life, uh, the further back back in history it goes to I guess the dinosaur times, which I think is super fun and unique. More, uh, we got some more monkeys and the little beetles underneath the Tree of Life. There we go. Yeah, beetles underneath the tree of life, that's fun. Now that we've successfully accomplished you, now we can move on to T because we're here to see it's tough to be a bug. All right, here we are. This is Exhibition Everest. It's a very popular ride here. It's a roller coaster that actually takes you up 
into the mountains and I don't want to spoil anything but close ears in case you don't like spoilers because I'm about to. Uh, it takes you backwards and you may or may not see a Yeti. So it gets a little crazy. Luckily though for me, there is a single rider line for this one, which typically single rider lines around Disney are kind of hit or miss. Um, this one though, always a hit. Rock and roller coaster, always a miss. Almost always a miss. Always is a strong word, but almost always. So here we go, we're gonna hop in line over here. much fun I think it's so exciting but definitely more thrilling than something like Big Thunder Mountain so maybe be cautious for the kiddos <clears throat> now after a F, F okay I think I'm right here I'm trying not to zigzag I really learned my lesson in Epcot in particular now it might become inevitable at some point but right now F I know that they have floats here that is actually what it's listed as on the menu, it's not an ice cream, I mean, it's an ice cream float, but on the menu, it's listed as a float. Oh, uh, hey, Kevin. <clears throat> I wish you started, I wish your name was Tevin. No, I, I wish your name was Seven, because I, I, I need more live entertainment, and I really don't want to see, I mean, I do want to see, like, I love Festival of the Lion King, and I love uh, Finding Mother Musical, but, gosh, there's, both 25 minute shows and I have to wait in line in order to even get a seat and I don't even know if I'm gonna make it with with uh, before I even get to those letters because live entertainment is not continuous they've got show times once the shows are over they're done for the day but I'm on letter S and I am actually headed to another wild card I didn't realize how many I gotta be careful about all these wild cards I'm throwing out I'm trying not to have Coke in April, and so I got a Sprite and vanilla float, and it's reacting really strange. And I, okay, I gotta go. I have to go. Mm. I'm having problems. We are in the Oasis, which is technically the front of the park, even before you get to Discovery, uh, Discovery Island. But here's a wild card, and just a fun fact. There is actually a secret entrance into uh, Animal Kingdom. So S for secret entrance but it is a secret ent entrance from Rainforest Cafe into the Animal Kingdom. And you don't technically need to have a reservation in order to use this secret entrance. All right, so here's the secret entrance. It is directly uh, through the Rainforest Cafe gift shop. You come here, you will need, obviously, you need park, uh, a valid park ticket in order to get through the secret entrance in order to get into the Animal Kingdom. But secret entrance S. While we're here, our Rainforest Cafe. We haven't got any merch yet, so let's grab some Rainforest Cafe merch. We're getting Rainforest Cafe merch for the Alphabet, <laughs> our Alphabet Challenge at Disney World is, yeah, I think, chaotic on a completely different level, but Rainforest Cafe merch. Rainforest Cafe, uh, you, can, you can actually find two different Rainforest Cafes uh, here at Disney World. You have the uh, one over in Disney Springs, with the giant volcano and here in Animal Kingdom. Now we don't typically recommend that you touch either Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> the food is not typically the best. There's always a crazy, crazy long uh, uh, wait list to be seated. Uh, one time I came here for lunch and it was over a two hour wait list. And when I say lunch, I mean I was here around like 2.30, which is it should be after the lunch rush. But they do have moving animatronics throughout the entire restaurant and gift shop. Uh, so it is fun for the kids, for them to hopefully be distracted and look around. But if you're coming to Disney World, Rainforest Cafe is a chain. There are other places, you know, there are other places that are going to be worth the extra money. Anyway, Rainforest Cafe merch, let's go. I got some napkins and I'm settled for a second. I just don't know what this is like. I would always go Coke and vanilla, but here we go. Nah, not bad. Kind of reminds me, reminds me of something. Gosh, it's good vanilla ice cream though. I'm doing a lot of stuff over here. The Eddie Sunday is probably the most famous. Um, if you're interested in that, it's like 
vanilla ice cream with some blue and crumble, like cake crumbles and a big old Yeti on the front. The Wilderness Explorers is basically a scavenger hunt. A scavenger hunt for the little ones where they'll, get, they'll give you a pamphlet. They will kind of swear you in into the uh, Wilderness Explorers and then you'll go around all Animal Kingdom uh, to collect patches. The cast member wasn't comfortable, comfortable being filmed. That's totally okay, but she did swear me in and she gave me a map of all the different things. Uh, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a quiz at one of the Wilderness Explorer stands. How you earn badges is basically going to these stands, learning something, they might ask a question or two, a quiz, uh, and then after, and then if you are successful, uh, you'll get a badge. And if you collect them all, you'll be the ultimate, uh, you know, Wilderness Ex uh, Explorer. Now it was recently, at the time of filming, it was recently Earth Day, so they do have a couple uh, special badges. They do have an Earth Day badge that you can earn over Rafiki's Planet Watch, which is pretty cool. So if you're here around Earth Day, there might be some fun, uh, exciting, uh, you know, different offerings than you would get the rest of the year. So let's take, a, let's take a Wilderness Explorer quiz. Now for G, I'm going back towards the wild card status. I think we're gonna play some games. Here we are, Dino Land. These are the games I'm playing. I'm so excited. This is Chester and Esther's area. Now this is gonna be going away along with the rest of Dino Land, sadly. But I think they're fun. A lot of people kind of give give a little hate to the fun to the fun games, but I'm gonna play some today. So I did earn my insect badge, uh, and she gave me a quick, uh, there was a, there was kind of like a, a spider already failing the quiz. She showed me some things about the insects, she gave me a short quiz, uh, so I just shout out to all the Wilderness Explorer uh, uh, cast members. They are so fun, they are super engaging, and <laughs> with someone who, like me, who doesn't love insects, they are super kind and thoughtful and didn't force me on any insects, so thank you. <laughs> okay, but... Uh, quiz from a Wilderness Explorer, uh, done and done. This is it, this is my Dinorama ticket. I have one game. It was six dollars, and this is why a lot of people think that, that this is sometimes silly, because you don't always win a prize. Um, but I'm gonna attempt to win a prize. I don't know that I will. I've played almost all of these games except for the Comet, so I might try the Comet Crasher. Oh, you did it, you got it. Blue. Yeah, keep going. Oh, okay. ah! <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I want a dinosaur and I want one of the big ones. I want a great dinosaur. This is the Dino Institute on it. This is about to become a relic. I'm so excited. I am flabbergasted. If I lose the rest of this game, it's totally fine because I won my gray dinosaur. And I feel like she needs a name. So I don't know what to name her. I feel like probably gonna end up being Pepper's best friend because Pepper's best friend like actually her best friend in the world is Betty the Yeti because I bought her one um, when we did like a little honeymoon here at Disney and she loves that thing so I feel like Animal Kingdom is really her favorite Betty the Betty's her best friend but I think this might be her new best friend so maybe like I'm trying to think because she's gray, I'm feeling something like Gracie. Gracie the gray dinosaur. I like that. I'm gonna call her Gracie. Okay, I am very excited for this next one because I am thirsty. Uh, but we're actually headed to Pandora, the Valley of Moara. Pandora is from the very, very popular uh, movie Avatar and Avatar 2. But one of the quick service locations here in Pandora is the Tuli Canteen. And it's one of the only places you can get Pib. Yes, Mr. Pib Soda Fountain from the Soda Fountain, which is, uh, I, I'm, I'm a huge Mr. Pib Dr. Pepper lover. Uh, I'm not a huge soda drinker, but when I do drink soda, it's either gotta be frozen, like a frozen Coke, <laughs> or uh, from a soda fountain. Uh, so the fact that they have Mr. Pib here, and they don't, re I really don't have it anywhere else. It's like, um, there are a few, maybe one or two other places you can, you find Mr. Pib from the actual soda fountain, but they do have it here at the Canteen. So we're gonna just mobile order a, uh, a beverage and uh, pick it up, get some Mr. Pib and call it a day. Okay, so next is H. I'm thinking another snack and my body is leading Gracie and I straight to Harambe Village Market. That is ultimately where I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab a snack. We've not been to this half of the park yet, 
so I hope this isn't a mistake. I think I can find a lot of stuff in here though, in this area. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Some ice. And we've got Viv Extra Baby. Satuli Canteen uh, obviously is inspired by the Avatar movie, but the RDA, uh, were the, were, they were the villains in the movie. They were the, basically the military, the army. So, they have, so you can see it looks like a giant hangar on the inside. This is where the RDA I'm sure stored, I don't know, angry robots. But as you can see, the Navi, they have kind of made it, they've turned it into their own uh, commissary, which is great. And uh, kind of the food that you're gonna get here is, is familiar flavors, but everything is just a little bit different to make it otherworldly. For example, I had this, uh, I had a bowl here the other day. It was, you know, it was chicken and uh, beef with uh, like sweet potato and uh, just normal potatoes, but you know, it's all mixed up. That's all things you've had before, that's all normal. But then they put boba balls on top to make it otherworldly. I actually enjoyed the cheeseburger pods here at Satuli Canteen. Um, I, I don't, it's Satuli Canteen is actually not one of my favorite places to eat, although we do recommend it a lot. It's just, it doesn't, doesn't have a lot that I enjoy personally, but that's just my own hot take. Uh, we need something for O. I think we're just gonna go inside of Wind Traders to look for uh, something, some sort of O merchandise. So let's head inside. Okay, we made it over here, and I did misspeak. I called it the Harambe Village Market. I'm com combining the Harambe Village um, dancers, drummers, talent, acrobats with the Harambe Fruit Market, which is where I'm at. This is the Harambe Fruit Market. There you go. You can buy a lot of things over here. The most famous is the grilled corn on the cob, and I think if you get anything else from here, kind of a mistake. However, we're eating a lot in a little bit of time. So I'm gonna get something random. Got lots of things, lots of bags of chips, fruit if you want it to go. I'm actually gonna go with the blueberry muffin. It looks amazing. Um, it has a little tiger, tiger on it. They also have more fruit like strawberries, grapes, watermelon, and they also have pickles and baby bell cheeses. But this looks really good and it's pre it's not prepackaged, but it is tight so I can put it in my bag. Well, this is fantastic. It's like really fresh and moist and light and blueberry and there's like it looks like sugar crumbled over the top excellent absolutely excellent. I'm, I'm glad I'm gonna have this later that was a good choice you know what I always love showing these off this is an orange banshee yes I'm using O for orange orange banshee it's actually kind of a puppet that sits on your shoulder his wings flap I'll show you his wings flap you can turn his head and you can talk. Hey guys, um, I'm cool. How are you? I'm so excited, so excited to be here. Works out well that we're in a store because I'm looking for something that starts with an I. I'm gonna try to find some merchandise. So I'm seeing some pin packs. Do they have any of these characters that I need in here? Mm, no. Ooh, hoo, hoo, but there's a cocoa pack. Is Mama Imelda in this? No, not this one. Let's see, what about this cocoa pack? Is that Mama Imelda? Can you guys tell? That's Mama Imelda. I've been looking at the next few letters, trying to plan out a little bit. I want to try to get to Lion King at four. That means we got 40 minutes until then, ish. Um, Hilly Kilimanjaro. 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 It's a 10 minute wait, but it's a 20 minute ride, so I need to get on like ASAP to try to make it. But we still have Jay, so I'm gonna claim jewelry. And I'm gonna claim this beautiful, lovely Lion King jewelry. Oh, how lovely. Lion King jewelry. <laughs> we have to go. One thing I've learned about this challenge as we continue to do it over and over. We make the craziest decisions. We equate the craziest stuff, like the yaw button in Epcot. That's hilarious and weird, and we would never notice that in our lives. So it makes it really fun because I feel like we notice a lot of things that we normally wouldn't. And we just say some silly stuff, which I really enjoy. Okay, Kilimanjaro Safari's 10 minute wait. Oh my gosh. If this is the line, that is not 10 minutes if the whole queue is open. But maybe we're gonna hold our breath. We're gonna hold our breath. Because typically 
this ride is not as good in the middle of the day. And it's not quite the middle of the day right now, but the heat is high. So typically, wait times will drop a little bit. Nomad Lounge is definitely one of our favorite places to have a midday break in. Uh, you can get some light snacks here as well as a full bar. You can find some nice beverages. One of the things that I think I'm going to get is the Tempting Tigers. I get it almost every time I'm here. It's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite drinks. It's basically a, uh, a sweeter old fashioned, but let's see if we can. It doesn't look like a big line, so we'll see what happens. Okay, we are moving and grooving. This is definitely going to be no longer than 10 minutes, if not less. We're already almost to the front. I'm feeling okay. Oh my gosh, there was no wait at all. This is amazing. Now, in order to actually sit and eat here at Nomad Lounge, you are going to have to uh, uh, join the wait list. It is first come, first serve. Or you can get drinks to go. Or if there's a seated bar available, you can probably just uh, you can just sit at the bar. But if you want one of the actual lounge, uh, lounge seats, you'll have to join the, the walk-up list. Okay, it only took 10 minutes. Very pleased. So here it is. I got the Tempting Tigress, which is Russell's Reserve 10 year bourbon, St. Elizabeth Allspice Graham, Terramin syrup, and lime juice. So good. Again, it's a sweeter old fashioned. It does come in a plastic cup, and you actually get more when it comes in a plastic cup. Uh, typically, when, when you spend it, when they serve it to you at the bar, it's in a, you know, one of those shorter uh, old fashioned, you know, glasses. Again, I always prefer glassware because bougie. But this ends up being a much larger drink when they put it in a, in a to-go cup, just because, well, the the cup is bigger than the glass they serve it in. All right, I had something else for M, but uh, I'm gonna alter just a bit because I, I'm running out of time and I, I I can't walk all the way to Maharaja Jungle Trek. So for now, I'm gonna go monkeys. Currently, they are cleaning uh, cleaning their. Uh, area, but this is a cotton top tamarind monkey. The reason I wanted to show you guys this is because they have a really cool drink inside of Creature Comforts called a flat white. Uh, a, a portion of the proceeds will actually go to the Disney Conservation Fund to help protect the cotton top tamarind monkeys and the habitats uh, in which they live. Now, uh, I've ha I have had the flat white before. It's definitely a little bit uh, more of a, of a bitter drink, uh, definitely more coffee forward, uh, not typically what I prefer as someone who gets the iced vanilla latte, but uh, I definitely recommend you try it. See for yourself if you like it, but also uh, do it for the cause because I think this is a really cool uh, tie-in. So, monkeys, monkey, uh, monkey money. money, money for the conservation fund for a monkey. Cotton Top Cameron, Money Monkey Funds. Okay, remember when I said this is gonna take the longest? No, this next thing is gonna take the longest. First, I need to find some Lion King merch for the letter L, which we can definitely do here, specifically in the Mombasa marketplace. But then I think we have to go see Festival of the Lion King for the letter K. I'll explain why, unless, unless I can find a different K that's live entertainment. And here we are, look at this, Lion King merch. Got some shirts, a Hakuna Matata spirit jersey. Uh, literally, it's just like Lion King decked out. So if you love the Lion King, definitely, this is your place to be. Let's see if we can find anything with Scar in it because, you know, the Lion King movie would not exist had it not been for Scar. Oh, hello, wait a minute. Yes, absolutely, I need, I need the spirit. I need the sweater. Yes, conflict is important or stories wouldn't exist. All right, we're moving on. A great safari, Brian with a Y was my safari guide today. And I have to say, Safari guides are kind of like jungle cruise skippers. You're gonna have some really good ones and then you're gonna have some that just kind of, you know, stick more to the script. Both are great because the script is fun, but sometimes they put their own like personal flair on it. And I have to say, Brian with a Y, he brought it back to when I was a child. <laughs> like that might sound crazy, but he literally was like talking about stuff and giving details about every single animal in a way that I have not noticed a cast member doing a long time obviously i'm gonna give him a cast compliment but just really wanted to shout out how wonderful he made that experience to be totally honest okay okay now lion king is in 10 minutes i don't know that i can make it but we're gonna try i am rushing rushing 
to see Kevin. Ke uh, apparently Kevin's next appearance is in Discovery, Discovery Island, and he just kind of roams. So we're kind of on a search for Kevin. If I can't find Kevin, I'm gonna have to do the Festival of the Lion King. YK, because my favorite character in that show is Kiyume. Kiyume is Swahili for masculine. Because uh, why he sings uh, Be Prepared. I think it's such a fun, fun role to do like that. The big booming masculine, like, you know, presence of, you know, of Mufasa and then he gets to switch kind of it to like, to resemble like, a Scar character. Okay, we made it over with a few minutes to spare. However, these end of the day shows tend to fill up because people didn't go to the earlier ones. And so they're all trying to squeeze into this one. And it's not looking like I can get into that 4 p.m. show. So we're gonna see. This looks like maybe overflow for 4 p.m. They're gonna see where people land. I'm gonna give it a minute and see if there's any way they sneak us in. But I doubt I've made it. Now, even though Kevin does have set times, she's really not there to take pictures and do meet and greets. She's really there to just kind of roam around, have fun, silly interactions, and keep on going. So, let's see if we can just, it's gonna be hard to get Kevin's attention. So let's just see if we can say hi. I think maybe I'm making an inside right now. Yay! Hi, Kevin. We saw the babies. Oh my goodness. Kevin likes babies. Kevin loves babies. Okay, we're heading, headed back into the uh, outpost here, Riverside Outpost, uh, and we're gonna look for some J merchandise. I'm thinking Jasmine. I know ja ah, there's a Jazz. Here we go. All right, got a Jasmine doll here for how much? Twenty-seven dollars. Jasmine. There we go. Okay, we are headed to Dinoland USA for I. Here we go. We need to do more rides. We are running out of time. We are severely running out of time. I literally do not know if we're gonna make it because some of the live entertainment closes soon. This is wildly stressful. Who'd have thought Animal Kingdom would be the most stressful alphabet challenge? Not me, not this guy. We are headed to Dinosaur. Dinosaur is a thrill attraction where you hop into a time rover and you go back in time to help, uh, I guess not, not save, but uh, to help bring back a dinosaur from the past. Unfortunately, things go awry when you end up face to face with a Carnotaurus. Very scary, loud noises, uh, super, super dark attraction. Uh, I definitely recommend, wouldn't recommend it for younger, younger riders or riders who need to go to the chiropractor because it's, it's flinging you around. But anyway, the dinosaur that you're actually bringing back is an Iguanodon. Iguanodon, the letter I. Okay, awesome, it's a 10 minute wait. Perfect, let's make it happen. Look, there, there it is, an Iguanodon. I could have also used the Institute because the, the ride takes place at the Institute, the Dino Institute, but I think I'm gonna go with Iguanodon for I. That makes more sense. Let's roll. Okay, I have no idea if this is gonna work. This this is the, the smallest time crunch I have. 
I have 10 minutes to get to Finding Nemo the Musical for my liturgy, which I will explain. But I have to get H first. So I was like, I, I'm just gonna order a hamburger from restaurant to Saurus, uh, but I only have 10 minutes. I have my burger, I have six minutes to spare. Finding Nemo is his right next door, but it is maybe maybe three minute walk if I'm, if I'm really hustling and I have to literally devour this. I only have two hands. To, so I can't, I can't film and eat this, so. You get the point, I'm eating it. 4.30 is the last show of the day. If I don't get this, if I don't make it in time, I don't know what I'm gonna do for live entertainment because all of the live entertainment will be over for the day. I'm in, and I don't feel good. I ate that way too fast. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Finding Nemo the Musical is a 25 minute musical extravaganza. With, uh, it's a Broadway cal caliber style show. And it's a retelling of Pixar's Finding Nemo. But it's kind of a retelling, but also kind of a memory. Because the timeline it actually takes place within Finding Dory. So the tank gang is actually, uh, when I say the tank gang, I mean, you know, like Bloat and Gil. They're reminiscing about their time with Nemo and, and all of Nemo's adventures. So it's retelling, but also a new telling. Uh, well, you get it. I can't stop burping because I ate the burger way too fast. Let's enjoy. Yeah. I was one of the last in the building and one of the first out of the building. I'm gonna be honest. I realized how badly I've messed up with live entertainment because the end of the day is near and that means most of the live entertainment's over. And that's mainly the slots we have left. So I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to figure out, get creative, and maybe I'll just start singing myself. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's gonna be fine though. We're gonna figure it out. M, my first thought is the mango key lime pie over at Yak and Yeti, so let's just go grab one. I saved myself some steps. I'm not gonna go all the way to Yak and Yeti because I found a mango passion fruit shaved ice option at Caravan Road, so I'm gonna grab that instead. <laughs> Decisions are getting worse by the minute. Because I'm still just going with it. But I got the mango passion fruit shaved ice. And honestly, this is very welcome. It's really good. Hello. Kind of hard to eat. Very sweet, very cold. Not a must have treat. It just tastes like, you know, fruity, cold ice. But if you like sweet, especially that kind of mango, very forward in your mouth and nose kind of sweetness, it's a good option. It'll help keep you cool, that's for sure. It's about to be summertime, so maybe this is a must have. We got stuff to do, friends. Come on. Let's go. I should explain why. Wait, first off, so glad I made that. Whew. But I should explain why the letter G was finding him in the musical. Because it has my favorite song. I sing it in my car all the time. Uh, go with the flow. That's the uh, song that Crush the Turtles sings. Now, F. I'm riding to Dinoland USA. Still need more attractions. I think I'm gonna fly on a dinosaur. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go to Tawa Bar. And I'm gonna grab one of our favorites. And Gumu Jungle Juice. Actually, I really don't want alcohol, but you know what I can get? A Night Blossom. And that is in Pandora. We're gonna go to Pandora. Actually, I can switch things around. I still have merchandise. And you know who I just found? Nala from The Lion King. So we're gonna count Nala in. Looks like I've got some wild cards left. Let's go see if we can hunt for some animals. Maybe they're awake. They, I don't think they count as live entertainment, unfortunately. I think they're wild cards. So we're gonna figure it out, but we're fine. It's not, I'm not even worried about this. Triceratops Spin is a family style attraction, like more of a Dumbo style attraction where you, where you hop into a Triceratop and fly. It's about a 10 minute wait, not bad at all. I'm very nervous because I am severely running out of time. Okay, for L, I'm gonna go on her grotto. See who we can see if anybody's out today. This is the Otter Grotto habitat. And one thing that is tough is towards the end of the day, a lot of the animals will start to go up. Oh gosh, a lot of the animals will start to go up because it's their dinner time. They have to eat, they gotta see stuff. And I'm having a feeling nobody can find them because everybody keeps walking down in into the habitat and I didn't see them down there. Okay. 
All right, otters. Triceratops spin always has the best music. So, O. Oh. What does O really mean at the end of the day? Lots of things. You're gonna have to get creative. You know what, time's running out. Let's stop messing around. Let's just go grab some merch, maybe? We're gonna figure it out. We're figuring it out, and I'm not scared, and you aren't scared. None of us have anxiety, because you can just, you, you can, I have, I, listen, team anxiety, we get it. It's not always easy to turn off, but we can make decisions. We're gonna keep pushing through. We're not gonna let it control us, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm pushing through, and we're figuring it out, and it's fine. We are headed back to Asia for Cali River Rapids. Uh, we did, oh wait, fly, Z-E-F, yeah, fly with, the dinosaur. fly with the dinosaur, did that. Now we're gonna get uh, spit on by some elephant statues. I will show you what I mean. We're headed to Cali River Rapids. Oh, 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 oh. You don't know, uh oh. Shout out One Direction always for that and for everything, really. I didn't even check the time for Cali River Rapids. I hope it's just a five, 10 minute wait, please. What is it? What is it? Only got 45 minutes left of the park day. Everyone should have gone 35 minutes. I've checked all the other rides. I definitely need another ride and I need two more live entertainment. There's no way I can get it done if I do the 35 minute wait, but there's no other rides uh, that I can do within my time frame. Um, the next shortest ride is, that I, the next shortest ride that I haven't done yet is uh, uh, Navi River Journey, but that's at 50 minutes. So I think I just have to do Cali River Rapids and I have to hope that I have done more letters than Emma has. Didn't necessarily find anything over there. A chain across the street, maybe. I'm losing my mind. Octopus, otters. Um, PB and J otter. Shout out, PB and J otter. You know, you know. It's a little on the nose, but I'm gonna take it. Over Ola and over oh. Y'all look at this. Okay, I've only been in line for eight minutes. I'm about to get on the ride. Okay, there was definitely not a 35 minute wait. It was definitely, definitely a walk on. Uh, eight minutes and I'm about to get on the boat. So maybe maybe there is still hope that I'll be able to go over to uh, back to Dunland USA to meet Chip and Dale. Okay. But then I don't know what to do for B&A. I'll, I'll figure it out. Now I saw a character that is not typically here. We're doing really special meet and greets for Earth Day, which technically is not today but they do throughout the month of April. So I'm gonna go see, I saw Piglet, Piglet and Winnie the Pooh, but I couldn't tell if they were leaving. So this is kind of a long shot, but it would be in live entertainment. That's correct, they were leaving. They're not here anymore. It's fine, it's fine. This is also like 20 minutes ago, so I'm not surprised. But I had just had hope, you know? And hope is the most dangerous thing of all. And I think the Hunger Games really taught us that, you know, it's not fear, it's hope. On this bridge, they can squirt you. These two elephant statues. Hopefully, they'll play nice. Ah, oh, they played nice. That's that's nice. Okay, we are making the trek back to Dineland USA. It's only 3:35. I think they're set for the, their final set of the day, which was it's at 5:30. I'm sure it's 30 minutes. Uh, it's, it's not crazy hot temper. It's not a, not a crazy hot temperature today. 
So I'm sure it's around 30 minutes, if maybe 25. So I definitely think I'll make it there in time. It just depends on how long that line is. And if I, and if I am able to, because that'll take away, I mean, uh, so that'll basically cross off D and C for Dale and Chip, Chip and Dale. And then, because my two live entertainment, then <laughs> maybe while I'm in line, I can order from Flame Tree Barbecue for B and then find some final A merchandise. Just need an A merchandise at Asha on the way out. But fingers crossed that Flame Tree Barbecue is still taking orders this way. I just found a pin in my bag. So I'm gonna pin trade. Yeah, it's a little bit like grasping the straws, but hey, isn't everything in life. Thank awesome. You Thank you so much. Have, Have a good, good one. Night. Okay. 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 I, fear confirmed. It's not a real pin. The dangers of trading. But it's all right. It says Disney, but he's cute anyways. Let's see. I'll stop running so you can see it. Whoa. Pin trading. Is he gonna focus? Look like it. Okay, it's still cute though. Okay, oh gosh, this is not a good sign. Now we're on to Q. I'm going back to merch because Q is really hard. The first thing um, I'm thinking of is like a quilt. I know that there's a Winnie the Pooh quilt. We're gonna go over to Trading Company. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Good to see how are you? I would hug you, but I just got off a water ride and I don't want to get your amazing outfits wet. Okay, <laughs> so we'll, we'll wave, I'll wave to you from a distance. Uh, but I'm doing, I'm doing an alphabet challenge with some friends and Chip and Dale, C, D, all, I'm doing it backwards. All you need is B and A after you, so you're helping me win. So can we get a quick picture? Is this a quilt I spy? I'd argue that's a quilt, but it says a throw. So I might, I might come back to it and argue that it's a quilt. <laughs> but let's let's keep checking just in case. Met Chip and Dale. And now all I have to do before I got 15 minutes. I did mobile order. I, I had until six o'clock to mobile order from Flame Tree Barbecue. So B is gonna be my uh, so barbecue is gonna be for my B. And then I'm gonna quickly uh, take a bite and then run into uh, Riverside Depot. I saw a bunch of Wish merchandise. I'm gonna find something with Asha on it, and then I'll and then I'll be done. Then I'm gonna call it. Oh my gosh! I finally watched Wish. If any of you guys don't know, I didn't. I've not seen it, and I actually thought it was very sweet. I know people gave it a hard time, but I thought it was a nice homage to a lot of Disney movies, and I like the music. I'll say it. Well, they've literally covered up all the fork things. I would have to go back, but I don't have time, so I'm just gonna eat some of it. Start for quick though. Okay, let's get into the toy section. Let's see what they can offer. Nothing weird here, just curing and full plate of macaroni and cheese. <sighs> into some stores. I'm getting super specific, but you know what I see right now? Me and all the cheap bananas are found. Okay, there's all the wish stuff right here. Just gotta find Asha. Where's Asha? Asha, Asha. Hey, you know what? Here's Asha. Asha merch. I did it. I did it. I did it. And in the end, who really won but Animal Kingdom? Because <laughs> the park closed. So here we are. Congratulations. Hey, you did a great job. You're a star. We, we Before this, we even filmed a whole other video. For a perfect morning at Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Our bodies are done. We, well, and I think, honestly, this was the hardest ABC I've done. I could not I agree mean, more. that with my chest. Mm -hmm. And I had so much fun though. Even harder than Epcot. I, Epcot was hard. Significantly harder than Epcot. But I think too, if you think about Animal Kingdom the size, it offers a lot less and things close a lot earlier. Yeah. So, nature of the beast. What are you gonna L do? Literal beast. Oh my God. <laughs> I need to go home. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Now go watch Quincy and I compete in the Alphabet Challenge at Hollywood Studios. Bye. Bye.